Hello everyone. This video will cover information about interpretation of analysis results through contour diagrams. There are two methods available to see the contours of analysis results. The first one, which is also the default, is through the analysis menu on the top. Once the analysis is successfully completed, the contour showing the displacement in the vertical direction, global y for the y axis when it is vertical and global z if the z axis is vertical, is activated through the contour option of the analysis menu. The second method for viewing the results requires us to select any particular mat. This brings up a mat menu at the top of the screen. From here, we can perform different activities for the selected mat. Also, when we switch on the contour option from here, we will be able to see the contours of various analysis results for the selected mat only. Thus, if multiple mats are present in the project, by selecting one mat at a time, we can see the results for the mat we desire. So coming back, the displacement shown here is for the first load combination from among the load combinations selected in the analysis criteria. The range of displacements, smaller to largest, is shown in an index form on the left hand side of the viewing area. As we hover over the individual colors, the nodes on the mat having the displacement or settlement corresponding to that color will be highlighted through black dots. When we hover over the max displacement value, it will highlight the nodes with max concentration. Also, if we hover the mouse above the individual nodes of the mat, the displacement value of the node is shown in the rectangular tooltip. We can change the load combination from here and see the displacement values for any desired combination. Now, by using the scaling option from here, we can get a sense of how the mat is deflected and in which region of the mat there is more settlement or if there is any uplift in any of the region of the mat, it can be captured by using the scale option. We can get an overall sense of the mat behavior by using this option. The scaling can be seen in the 3D view of the mat for node displacements. Let us see the base pressure for the mat from here. We can see base pressure value for each node for the selected load combination by hovering the mouse over the individual nodes. From the contour pattern, we can find out the areas experiencing the highest pressure. The next item to examine is the global moments for the mat along X and Z direction. Global moments are the moments that produce flexure stress along the two horizontal global axes. They are computed individually for each node and averaged from the various shell elements meeting at the node for each load combination. It gives us an overall sense of the bending moment pattern or behavior of the mat along the global X axis and global Z axis. The moments are calculated per unit width, that is keep fit per feet or kilonewton meter per meter of the mat. On similar basis, we can see the results for the shear stresses along the global vertical planes xy and the zy plane. All of these results can also be seen in tooltip form by hovering the mouse over the nodes of the map. That brings us to a close of the way in which we can see the different results of the analysis of the map. In this way, we can see the different results of the analysis of the mat in contour form as well as through values in the tooltips. Thank you for watching.